Stegosaurus meanders through the loading docks at Lockwood Manor. With a disposition similar to a modern-day bison, the Stegosaurus is happy to be by itself. The ground shakes. Could it be an earthquake? No. It is a warning from a fellow herbivore, a stingy Moloch, suggesting that this is no earthquake. But it's nearly as deadly. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. She prowls across every terrain driven by pure instinct. Attracted to scents and movements led her to this isolated Stegosaurus. But this Stegosaurus is opting to hold its ground against the T-Rex. The Stegosaurus's not-so-secret weapon is its spiked tail, capable of swinging up to 40 meters per second, guaranteed to cut through muscle and go straight to the bone. But the bite of the T-Rex has little competition in the wild. Shaking off a devastating blow, the Stegosaurus is forced to adapt to its surroundings and employs a creative defense. The Stegosaurus implies its mighty tail whip, stunning the T-Rex, but only for a moment. The T-Rex can open its jaws up to 80 degrees and make short work of the tree. The T-Rex sits at two stories tall, and with strength to spare, it easily knocks over a jeep cornering the Stegosaurus yet again. Aha! The cavalry arrives. The Stiggy Moloch has steered the remaining herd towards the T-Rex. They provide enough of a distraction to make a grand escape, but they better be quick. The T-Rex lets out a mighty roar. Letting everyone for miles know, this Jurassic World adventure has not yet ended. The volatile Triceratops battles the elements in search of plants to eat. But she is not the only one in search of a meal. The mighty T-Rex has tracked the Triceratops to this rain-soaked valley. The Triceratops will charge into battle with its massive horns. At over two stories tall and a bite that carries more than 34,000 newtons of force, the T-Rex is the favorite in this matchup. This island is full of unexpected twists and turns. Lava starts to pour into the valley. All this commotion has caught the attention of a nearby Pteranodon. The beak is her weapon of choice. The crash frees the Triceratops from the T-Rex's grasp. The crash momentarily stuns the Pteranodon. If she's not careful, she could end up in the mighty jaws of the T-Rex. However, one good turn deserves another. The lava makes more headway into the valley, causing the T-Rex and Triceratops to break from their battle and flee to safer ground. Forced onto the same rock, these two have no option but to face each other, as the lava makes any notion of escape impossible. What will happen? Who will win out, if anyone, in this Jurassic World adventure? We've come upon the unique Velociraptor Blue, stalking through the empty auction room at Lockwood Manor. But perhaps she is not alone. Blue's manufactured DNA made her body mass 20% larger than the average Velociraptor. Blue was right to be wary. It's the highly volatile Indoraptor. These two aren't known for backing away from a fight. Instincts mandate they must engage. It's no surprise that the savagery of their fighting distracts them from another threat. Let's drop them in the cage! The mercenaries are armed with zap rods. Before Blue or the Indoraptor are aware, the cage is dropped around them. 
The mercenaries quickly put their rods to the test against the Indoraptor. Now, suddenly facing the same challenge, the dinosaurs work together to break free. We cannot hold them! Using the distraction, Blue escapes. With her ability to jump approximately 15 feet in the air, it's not long before she's found higher ground. Has the Indoraptor been left to his fate? Hardly. Blue returns to help fight off the mercenaries. Blue makes conscious decisions about the company she prefers. The shared escape from the cage may have swayed her allegiance to the Indoraptor, if only briefly. It seems Blue's alliance with the Indoraptor may be short-lived. As the two will surely meet in the future to finish this battle, but that will have to wait for the next Jurassic Adventure. Two Parasaurolophus are having a dinner of small plants in the clearing. Unfortunately for them, a concavenator has dinner plans of its own. On the defensive, the Parasaurolophus sound their unique bella, made possible by a hollow crest in their head. But the concavenator prefers action over sound. Though wielding dangerous claws, the concavenator does its killing with its mouth. The Parasaurolophus would care not to find out and seek to even the odds deeper in the trees. The Parasaurolophus seize this moment to use their numbers to their advantage. Using its powerful tail swipe, they keep the Concavenator at bay. But the Concavenator has little time for games. As a herd creature, the Parasaurolophus is driven to help. the Parasaurolophus have eluded capture, an advantage they're not used to. How will they use it? Will the Concavenator escape to continue its Jurassic World adventure? <laughs>